kind enough to volunteer. Now, Debbie, you're not coming up on stage, but would you verify everything I'm saying is 100% correct? Thank you so much. We went backstage and I gave you a sheet of newspaper from today's Tribune. You've been holding on to the sheet of newspaper, and this is that sheet of newspaper. Correct, Debbie? While my back was turned, as a matter of fact, I was standing several feet away from Debbie with my back to her, so there's no possible way I could see what's happened. Correct, Debbie? I asked you to scan both sides of the newspaper and simply think of a word you saw printed on the page. Is that correct? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to use your help, and we're going to use this, uh, this page from the trip kind of as a roadmap as we do something impossible as we work together to find Debbie's word. So you notice how I'm holding one, one section of the newspaper much higher than the other. Would you please tell me, this is your choice, which half would you like me to crumple up and throw away, higher or lower? It's your choice, sir. Thank you, sir. Higher or lower, which would you like me to throw away? Higher? Higher or lower, which am I throwing away? Uh, it was higher, sir? You want me to throw it away? Okay. Distinguished looking gentleman at the back, higher or lower, sir? And what am I doing with that, sir? We're left with about 75 different words. And I'm going to ask this gentleman here, go through the door and come up on stage here. Doug, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and hold up a finger on this hand. You bring your finger down on top of a word. When I ask you to open your eyes, you're going to lock this word in your mind silently. You're not going to say it out loud. You're just going to read it yourself, OK? Write the word you just pointed to as big as you can on that board. Could you announce the word that you had locked in your mind to the audience, please? I just have mega, M-E-G-A. 